Chinaya Manrayer Gainasan, known by his stage name Savaji Gainasan, the 1st of October 1928 to the 21st of July 2001, was an Indian actor, producer, and composer. Considered to be one of the greatest actors in Indian cinema, he was active in Tamil cinema during the latter half of the 20th century. His acting and dialogue delivery skills is still viewed as one of the greatest in Indian cinema history. He was well known for his versatility and variety of roles depicted on screen, which gave him also the Tamil honorific name Nadagar Thilagam lit, the pride of actors. In a career that spanned close to five decades, he had acted in 288 films in Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam and Hindi. His eidetic memory helped him remember his scripts at a glance. Gainasan was the first Indian film actor to win a Best Actor award in an international film festival, the Afro-Asian Film Festival held in Cairo, Egypt in 1960. Many leading South Indian film actors have stated that their acting was influenced by Gainasan. He received the President Award for Best Tamil Actor on 12 occasions. In addition, he received four Filmfare Awards South and a National Film Award Special Jury. In 1997, Gainasan was conferred the Dadasaheb Falk Award, the highest honour for films in India. He was also the first Indian actor to be made a Chevalier of the Ordre des Arts et des Lettres. Gainasan is remembered as an iconic figure of Tamil cinema. He has been described by the Los Angeles Times as the Marlon Brando of South India. In spite of his celebrated film career, his short stint in politics became a futile attempt. Early life Gainasan was born on 1 October 1928 to Chinaya Manrayer and Rajamani Amal to a Thavar family in Vitaithidal, Manargudi, Thanjavur. Without his father's consent, Gainasan decided to join a touring stage drama company at the age of seven. At the age of ten, he moved to Tirakairapali and joined a drama troupe in Sangiliandapuram and began to perform in stage plays. From the drama troupe trainers, he was lucky enough to learn acting and dancing skills. He was trained in Bharatanatyam, Kathak and Manipuri dance styles. Gainasan exhibited the ability to remember lengthy lines easily. The group favoured Gainasan to play the lead and he would continue to do so. His portrayal of the character of Chhatrapati Shivaji in the stage play Shivaji Kanda Hindu Rajam earned him the name, Sivaji which was conferred on him at a public function presided over by social reformer E. V. Ramasamy. Since then, he was referred by the name of Savaji. Film career Early career, 1952–1959 Two factors can be attributed the entry of Gainasan into films. The principal artists in Tamil films during the 1940s and 1950s were Telugus, whose acting was not matched by their dialogue delivery in Tamil. In fact, Savaji Gainasan lent his voice to Makamala Krishna Murthy, a Telugu actor, for a Tamil film Narapurati. The film was well received by the Tamil audience. Secondly, the 1950s saw the growth of the Dravidian movement in Tamil Nadu, under the leadership of C. N. Anadurai, and M. Karanadi. Their transformation of language skills to films through script writing ensured their instant acceptance. Gainasan's entry into films at this stage of popularity was easy and inevitable, and he could establish himself in a better position. Gainasan made his acting debut in the 1952 Tamil film Parasakthi, directed by the famous directors Krishnan Panju, produced by P. A. Purumal Mudalir of National Pictures, co-starring actress Pandari Bai. Peri R. E. V. Ramasamy recommended him for the lead role in Parasakthi to the producer, which was supposed to be portrayed by the Telugu actor Akaneni Nageshwara Rao. The script was written by later Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, M. Karanadi. Since actors who are well trained in classical dance can effectively showcase expressions called Nava Rasa on their faces, Gainasan went on to become one of the popular actors in Tamil cinema in the 1950s. His unique voice had a greater appeal. His style of dialogue delivery with a long spell of dialogues, like a poetry recitation with much clarity, earned him critical recognition. Andhanal 1954 was a trendsetter in Tamil cinema because it had no songs and Gainasan played an anti-hero. 
The film won the President's Silver Medal the following year. The same year, he co-starred with his competitor M. G. Ramachandran in Kundukili, where he played the antagonist. Donning versatile roles, 1959–1964 His role in the film Veerapandiya Katabaman won him the Best Actor Award at the Afro-Asian Film Festival held in March 1960 at Cairo. Incidentally, Gainasan was also the first Indian actor to get an award for Best Actor Abroad. He has worked with many actresses, including Banumathi Ramakrishna, Pandaribai, Vijayanthamala, Savitri, Padmini, Devika, Rajasri, B. Sarojadevi, K. R. Vijaya, Banishri and J. Jayalalitha of his time. He also co-starred with other actors such as Gemini Gainasan, S. S. Rajendran, Mathuraman, Sivakumar, M. R. Radha and S. V. Ranga Rao in numerous films in which he played the main lead. Topic. Puranic and historical roles, 1965–1969 His portrayal of Lord Shiva in the movie Tiruvalayadal won him many accolades. In the film Navratri 1964, Gainasan played nine different roles that represented the nine emotional states of a person. Sanjeev Kumar and Akineni Nageshwara Rao were inspired by this film and reprised the nine roles in Navratri 1966 and Naya Din Nayi Riyat in 1974 respectively. Gainasan could strike a balance between commercial cinema, mythological cinema and experimental cinema. His epical portrayals in films such as Tiruvalayadal, Tiruvaratselvar, Saraswati Sabatham, Harishandra, Tirumal Purumai, Karnan and Thalana Mahanambal won him critical acclaim. He played a variety of roles such as freedom fighters, like Kapalatya Thamijan, Vankinathan, Tirupur Kumaran, Bhagat Singh and epic characters like Harichandra, Karna, Bharatha, Narada, Apar, Nainmars and Alwars. Spanning genres like epics to crime thrillers, from romantic escapades to comic flicks and action flicks, Gainasan has covered it all. Superstardom, varied roles, 1970–1979 Gainasan played supporting role to Rajendra Kumar in the Hindi film Dardi in 1970, which was a remake of his 1969 Tamil film Savanda Man, in which he played the lead role. In the Hindi version, Gainasan played the role which Mathuraman had played in the original. Several directors such as Krishnan Panju, T. R. Sundaram, A. P. Nagarajan, L. V. Prasad, B. R. Pantulu, T. Prakash Rao, A. Bim Singh, K. Shankar, A. C. Tirulakshandar, C. V. Sridhar, P. Madhavan, K. S. Gopalakrishnan and K. Vijayan directed Gainasan in different roles. Kingara Jagaya offered his voice to Savaji when his movies were dubbed into Telugu. In the 1960s and 1970s his films have been well received and he was able to deliver constant hits. Some of his famous hits during this period are Vasantha Malagai, Garavam, Thangkapathakam and Satyam. Many of his films inspired remakes in Sinhalese. Films such as Pilot Premnath and Mohana Punagai were shot in Sri Lanka, with Sri Lankan actors such as Malini Fonseca and Geetha Kumarasinghe playing the female lead. In 1979, he appeared in the biggest blockbuster of his career, Thurasulam, an adaptation of the Kannada film Shankar Guru in which Rajkumar had played the lead role. <laughs> Matured roles, 1980–1999 The 1980s was a period in which Gainasan started enacting more matured roles. But still films such as Rishi Mulam, Yamanuku Yaman and Chiranjeevi had Gainasan portraying lead roles. Muthal Mariathai won him a Filmfare Award and Tamil Nadu State Film Award under Best Actor category. In 1992, he acted with Kamal Hassan in the critically acclaimed Thavar Megan, which won him a Special Mention Award at the 40th National Film Awards. His other films released during this period are Pasampan, Naasai Resave and Once More, where he was cast in prominent roles. He worked in Pukparika Varugiram, which released as his last film before his death, however the last film he worked in before his death was Padapa 1999.
Topic mentor Chinna Panasami Padayachi is the teacher of theatrical arts who trained Gainasan in his troupe. During an interview with V.S. Srinivasan, Gainasan said, Theater has taught me everything. My teacher, Chinna Panaswami Padayachi of Chidambaram, taught me Bharatnatyam, acting, body movements and practically everything. Padayachi, was himself an outstanding stage actor and I learnt in an atmosphere that was reminiscent of an ashram school. Political career Until 1955, Gainasan was a staunch sympathizer of the Dravida Munaitra Kazhagam. Once, he went to the Tiryamala town in Tirupati district and worshipped Lord Venkateswara in the world-famous temple there. Due to this act, he was heavily criticized by his party men, as DMK propounded atheism and looked down worshipping God. Gainasan was very hurt by this incident. Later in 1961, Gainasan became a strong supporter of the Indian National Congress. Due to his popularity, he was requested to be part of the National Congress Tamil Nadu. His respect for Kamaraj made him support Congress. He was made the Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament by then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi's death in 1984 also brought Gainasan's political career to an end. After 1988, he floated his own political party Munani and contested in only 50 seats, trying to play safe instead of contesting in all seats which possibly cost him the chance to win the elections because 50 seats would not make a significant difference to any election result. In 1989, he became the president of the Tamil Nadu wing of the Janata Dal. Unlike his highly successful acting career, his political career was rather unsuccessful. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Family. Gainasan was the second son of his family. He had two brothers. Gainasan married Kamala in 1952 and had four children. His younger son Prabhu is a notable Tamil actor. Gainasan established a film production company in the late 1950s, now called Savaji Productions, which is now being looked after by his eldest son Ramkumar. He has two daughters Shanti and Nanmazi. Three of his grandsons have also appeared in films, with Ramkumar's two sons Dushanth Ramkumar and Shivaji Dev, both having the stage name of Junior Savaji. Moreover, Vikram Prabhu debuted in the critically acclaimed film Kumki in 2012. Death Suffering from respiratory problems, Gainasan was admitted to the Apollo Hospital in Chennai on 1 July 2001. He also had been suffering from a prolonged heart ailment for about 10 years. He died at 7.45 p.m. East on 21 July 2001 at the age of 72 just three months prior to his 73rd birthday for which he had special plans. A documentary Parasakthi Muthal Padapa Varai was made to commemorate Savaji Gainasan's legacy. His funeral the next day was telecast live on Sun TV and was attended by thousands of viewers, politicians and personalities from the South Indian film fraternity. His eldest son, Ram Kumar, performed his last rites at the Besant Nagar Crematorium, Chennai. Popularity. When President Gamal Abdel Nasser of Egypt visited India, Savaji Gainasan was the only individual granted permission by the then Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, to host a party for Nasser. Nasser was given a number of valuable mementos depicting the civilization and culture of South India. Savaji Gainasan was the first artist from India to visit the United States, in the Cultural Exchange Program of the U.S. government, in 1962, invited by the then U.S. President John F. Kennedy, where he took the role of India's cultural ambassador. During his visit there, he was honored by being made the honorary mayor of Niagara Falls, New York for one day and was presented the golden key to the city. The only other Indian who has had this honor before Gainasan was Jawaharlal Nehru. When Savaji returned from America, there was a huge crowd to receive him at the Madras airport and MGR was there. When Savaji returned from Egypt after winning the Best Actor Award, there was a huge crowd to receive him at the Madras airport. 
On the 22nd of March 1976, he went over to Mauritius on an invitation from Prime Minister Ramagulam and took part in their Independence Day celebrations and stayed as their government guest for four days. During his visit to the United States in June 1995, he visited Columbus, Ohio, participating in the dinner hosted to honor Gainasan, the mayor of the city. Greg Lashutka honored him by announcing him as an honorary citizen of Columbus. On the same occasion, the mayor of Mount Vernon read out and gave him a special welcome citation. The Columbus Tamil Sangam was formulated on that day and Gainasan was made the honorary president of that association. Gainasan has remained as one of the popular Tamil actors with a large fan base. At the peak of his career, Gainasan had 30,000 registered fan clubs, which worked at promoting his image and films. It was Savaji's tragedy that, as the years progressed, opportunities for him to display his acting talent became scarce. But he did act in cameo roles, often stealing the scenes, as in Thavar Megan, which won him the National Awards Jury's Special Jury Award in 1993. Savaji, incidentally, declined the award. Acclaim Savaji Gainasan is considered as one of the best Indian actors of all time. He was also acknowledged as a consummate actor and one of the most imitated ones. He was praised for his body language and his resounding voice and dialogue delivery. Gainasan is known for his versatility and has acted as a blind man in Palam Pazumam, a physically handicapped person in Bhagaparivanai, enacting nine numbers of totally different personas from various social strata and the corresponding body language gait, voice, facial expression, etc., in Navratheory thereby becoming probably the first time in Indian cinema history as an actor reprising nine roles in a single film and in extension, inspiring subsequent films at least in Tamil-like. Navrathanam, the great MGR, starred Dasavatharam, featuring Savaji's torch bearer Kamal Hassan, a man with a scared face as in Deva Megan, a murderer in Pudia Paravai, or a traitor as in Anda Nal, the first movie that had no songs at all. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honours Gainasan has won the President's Award for more than 12 times for his performance in various films. He was also honored with civilian awards such as Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan and Dada Saheb Palki Award, the highest award in India for people involved in film industry. Topic civilian honours, national and international 1966 Padma Shri from the Government of India 1984 Padma Bhushan from the Government of India 1995 Chevalier awarded by the National Order of the Legion of Honour of France. On the 22nd of April 1995 at a ceremony held at the Max Stadium in Chennai, Gainasan was presented with the Chevalier title and medallion by the French ambassador to India, Philippe Petit. Topic: International awards. He is first Indian actor to get the Best Actor award from a foreign film festival. 1960 Best Actor in Asia Africa Continent award at the Afro Asian Film Festival for Virapandiya Katabaman. Topic: Other international honors. 1961 Day Mayor for the City of Niagara Falls and was presented with the Golden Key of Cairo. Pandit Jawaharlal is the only person besides Mr. Gainasan getting this honor. 1964 Cultural Ambassador of India invited by John F. Kennedy under the Cultural Exchange Program. 1991 Citizenship in the Columbus, Ohio, USA by the Government of United States. National Film Awards 1992 National Film Award – Special Jury Award for Thavar Megan 1996 Dadasaheb Falk Award <laughs> Filmfare Awards South 1972 Filmfare Best Tamil Actor Award for Nana Ali 1973 Filmfare Best Tamil Actor Award for Garavam 1985 Filmfare Best Tamil Actor Award for Muthal Mariathai 1985 Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award, South
Topic: <laughs> Tamil Nadu State Film Awards. 1969 Tamil Nadu State Film Award for Best Actor for Deva Megan 1970 Tamil Nadu State Film Award for Best Film – First Prize 1989 Tamil Nadu State Film Honorary Award – MGR Award Other honors 1986 Honorary Doctorate from the Animalai University 1997 Kalaimamani from the Government of Tamil Nadu 1998 NTR National Award from the Government of Andhra Pradesh Posthumous honours Pondicherry was the first state to erect a statue of Savaji Gainasan in honour of his acting skills and his huge fan base in the state and it was unveiled by the then Puducherry Chief Minister N. Rangasamy. A statue of Gainasan was erected on Kamarahar Road in Chennai, Tamil Nadu to honour the actor and was unveiled by the then Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. Karanadi in 2006. The South Indian Film Artists Association as a tribute to Gainasan, declared that 1 October, the birth day of Gainasan, would be observed as Actors' Day by the Association Chennai Film Industry. The government of Maharashtra has instituted a state award, in the name of Gainasan, which is given under the Best Actor category every year entitled, Savaji Gainasan Award. Filmography. <laughs> 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 See also Dushanth Ram Kumar Vikram Prabhu Shivaji Dev